Hi, in this segment, I will explain some basic notations regarding congruence and modulus and how they are related to each other. So uh, from basic uh, integer arithmetic, we do know the meaning of modulus. Modulus usually means uh, when a number is divided by another number, what is the reminder? For example, when you take eight and uh, compute modulus of three, uh, eight modulus three is basically two because that's the reminder we are left with, right? Eight mod three is nothing but two, okay? This is the value of the reminder. So um, congruence is very related to modulus. Uh, however, it's, it's not exactly the same as modulus, okay? So what is the meaning of congruence? Congruence means that suppose you have a number A and uh, we write A is congruent to B with three lines like this, mod M. Okay, what, what does it really mean by this? This means that EM, this implies EM basically divides A minus B. Okay? When we say A is congruent to B mod M, all it means is that M divides A minus B. Okay, so let me give you some example. We can write this above equation uh, using this eight and three uh, thing that we just discussed. Let's say eight here. We can write eight is congruent to two mod three because um, as we can see here, three divides, you know, three divides six. Okay, however, that's a small important difference. Um, this value that you're seeing here need not be always a reminder. Okay, we can write uh, somewhat uh, confusing and uh, not necessarily intuitive relationship between A, B, and D, M. For example, I am I'm allowed to write like this. I'm allowed to write um, 10 is congruent to uh, 4 mod 2 because 2 divides 10 minus 4, which is uh, 6, right? 2 divides 6. You probably notice that 4 cannot be a reminder. When you divide 10 by 2, the reminder is either 0 or 1. So this value is not always pointing to reminder. That's my main message. Please be aware that when, when somebody writes A is congruence to B mod M, it doesn't mean B is the reminder you get when A is divided by M. Okay, It could be reminder, but it need not be. Okay, So that's the important difference between modulus and congruence. Okay, Or, or reminder and congruence. So in, in um, number theory books, they, they also use other terminology called residue. Okay. A residue means um, you can also visualize it like this way. Residue is the same as we say A is a residue of B if M divides A minus B. Okay, so that's basically uh, the meaning of residue. And it's same as congruence. A is congruent to B mod M. I hope this explains the difference between uh, the regular modulus and congruence. Okay. In some textbooks, um, to, to to highlight the difference more clearly, um, they use an extra bracket at the front. Okay, this means like, like this A mod M. So they're they are basically now interested only in the reminder when they divide A by M. They're only interested in the reminder. In this case, if the you have to watch out for this extra. Uh, parenthesis that I placed here, right? Okay, in this case, um, it is perfectly fine to say um, 35 mod 10, right? What is 35 mod 10? 35 mod 10 is 5, right? This is nothing but 5. Okay. Um, you are allowed to write uh, 25 is congruent to 35 mod 10. This is perfectly fine as well because 10 divides the difference between 25 and 35, right? So, so pay attention to whether we are talking about reminder or we are talking about congruence. That, that's the most important thing. It may confuse you uh, when you're doing cryptographic uh, uh, analysis or when you're reading research papers, are they referring to the modulus or are they referring to the congruence? Okay, that, that's basically what I want to share today. Thank you very much.